Welcome back to High Tech, and now we are Jasmine, at... Jasmine, I have huh? a question. Do we play games for fun, or is there something else beyond it? I knew he was going to ask that question. Good. Now, that's why we brought you guys here to National University of Singapore's Mixed Reality Lab to check out this brand new game. It's a new production known as Age Invaders. Not only are video games for the young generation, but video games are also made for adults too, as well. Now, let's talk to the man himself, the project leader of this game. His name is Anta. There he is. Anta. Hello. 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 What is Mixed Reality? Okay, Mixed Reality game is a game for the real players to interact with the virtual players through the, in the virtual world. For example, in Age Invaders, as the grandparents and the grandchildren who are the physical players are playing at home, they are controlling the virtual player on the, uh, on the internet. So as the grandparents and the grandchildren are moving at home, the virtual players are actually moving uh, according to them. To play the game, the grandparents and grandchildren just need to wear this special bunny slipper. Now, what made you guys come up with this game? Okay, we actually wanted to create an entertainment for uh, family interaction. Let's try it, let's try it, come on. All right, grandchildren, grandma, I'm your grandfather. You have to act like your grandmother, Jasmine. The cultural and generation gaps between the young and old have been growing in our modern age. This project introduces Age Invaders, a novel social-physical game which allows the elderly to play harmoniously together with children in physical space. So um, parents who, who log on to the internet can help the grandparents or the children by dropping hearts and giving them life. Oh, you're for grandma. It's about teamwork, okay, Woody? Okay, fine. That was fun, Aung Tat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, wait. I smell an animal in this room. Oh, no, it's Jasmine. No, just kidding. I smell a pet in the room. Do, do you have pets in the room? You mean hamsters? You do? Hamsters. What do you use it for? Yeah, let's check it out. There it is, the hamster. Oh. Hi, this is Roger. Hi, Hi Roger. Hi, Roger. Okay. How do we play the game with this hamster? Okay, basically, right, um, the camera down here will capture the hamster's coordinate. So this will be translated back to the uh, computer game. In this game, you'll have a chance to control a character that is running away from a monster hamster. And every action you take on the computer screen is mimicked by robotic arms in the real-life hamster cage. So when you press a key, a piece of bait will run around the hamster's cage while your pet tries to eat it. This is taking playing with your pets to a whole new level. You know what, let's start playing the game, huh? Yeah, let's go okay. see. So you know what, in the future maybe you can use dogs and cats too, right? Oh yes, that's entirely possible. Yeah. Oh, it looks really cool. Um, what's the fun part about this? Okay, the fun part of this is that, first of all, right, you can play with your animals um, over the internet, anywhere around the world. So even though your pet is staying back home while you're, say, on some um, leisure trip in Japan or whatever, you can still continue to play with the pet um, oh. over the internet. That, unless if you forgot to feed them, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can I try? Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, you're doing good, Louis. Yeah. Have you played this game before, Louis? No. Looks like you're, you look like a pro at this. Let me try, let me try. Next, you want to play the pet internet. It's a game where you can play and interact with your pet hamster. And when you play it, it's like you collect the gems while the rats go bigger and bigger and bigger. I think we can use humans for this game too, right? <laughs> Maybe I should go into that cage and Jasmine can control me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that would be a good I, idea. Yeah, probably yes. Or maybe Jasmine should go in that cage. No, Woody, you should be in a cage. <laughs> oh, oh, I got another SMS. <laughs> Guys, this is interesting stuff again. It's about the history of video games. The history of video games is not just about people. It's also about companies and ironies as well. Atari was an American company with a Japanese name. And the Japanese company Sega was started by an American. Magnavox, the company that started it all, is owned by Philips, a company that is over a century old. And Nintendo, the company that made video games popular again, is just as old. The world of video games continues to evolve, and by reading about the past, perhaps we can get a glimpse of the future. 
Well, games are moving out of the arcade and taking a whole new form. We learned that we can play games anywhere, not only with our loved ones, but also our pets. Coming up next, Games Beyond the Keyboard, the future of games, so stay tuned.